we love art and we love drag, right? We love art and we love drag, for sure. And that's why we love this upcoming fundraiser for the Art and Cultural Center of Hollywood at LIPS called The Art of Drag. The event is this Thursday at 7 p.m. and features the usual LIPS girls as well as some special guests. The event will feature the famous Michael Dean as Cher. Oh my God, his share is just so spot on and community members john uh, mabry as tina turner which is going to be awesome mm -hmm. um jeff delmay as diana ross which i can't wait to he's see gonna that be so good he's yeah. going to be so good and anna smith as madonna tickets to this special fundraiser are limited and include a three-course dinner one alcoholic beverage and non-alcoholic beverages through the night so go to happeningout.com and select the gay agenda and search art for more what do we love about this well we always love the Lips Girls. They are always fabulous. How they do what they do, just always. But if you haven't been, and I know they've got one in New York, they've got yes. one in Toronto, they've got one here. I think there's more, but uh, go. They are entertaining you yes. on the stage. They are serving you your bottomless mimosas or whatever, and your food and entertaining you while they're at your table. I mean, they're just such hard workers. And this this fundraiser is just going to be so fun. I mean, yeah. it's going to, it's like, take out the D. It's just a fundraiser. Yes, you know, it's, it's just, just a be fundraiser. Great, yeah. You know, and a lot of these, you know, drag became very popular, right? So drag brunches became very popular yeah. about like 10 years ago and they started sprouting up everywhere. And, uh, you know, Lips is one of those places that doesn't, you don't have the plan B drag queens. You have mm -hmm. the top notch yeah. girls. You have the Velvets. You have the Aaliyahs. You have all these girls that have countless titles from all the pageants that they have won. And then they also work at Lips also. They only get the best divas there. And so then for their fundraisers, it's always fun to see uh, local celebrities or local uh, politicians mm -hmm. also doing their part and dressing up in drag for such a great cause. Yeah. You know, so I'm really looking forward to Todd Delmay's husband though. I can't wait. I want to see how that comes out. I it's hope he does the boss. That's my favorite Diana Ross song. Oh. She was the boss. She was the boss. Yeah. She still is the boss. She is. Yeah. All right. Get your tickets today. It's all for a good cause. It's going to be a fabulous night. You might just see us there. Next, very few writers have been as influential as you. No way. That's so true. <laughs> <laughs> Very few writers have been as influential to the LGBTQ plus culture as Sir Oscar Wilde. Yes. Is he like, um, what do you think? Did you ever think of him as a child as like someone to look up to or anything uh, like that? I wasn't, um, I mean, he was part of like literature, but he, there weren't really gay icons that were celebrated in Indiana. No. You know, Indiana. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think yeah. they still celebrate gay icons in Indiana. No, Except you. You say they're always there. happy when I get back. Yeah. <laughs> So, did you enjoy the show? I know you did, so make sure to click subscribe so you won't miss any of the events, news, or interviews right here on the Faye What Show. Ring the bell at the bottom of the screen, right there, so you'll be alerted every time we're live. You can also click on the Happening Out Television Network logo so you can see all of the shows on the most diverse LGBTQ plus media network. Find out just what we're doing to bring the L and the G together right here on the Faye What Show. Get the week started with me.